friends, good morning. This is Abhishek from TechVirus, and in this video, I'll be doing the unboxing as well as review of new LG Super Ultra High Definition TV. This is a 2016 model, and the model number is 49UH850T. I have purchased this TV yesterday, and it has costed me approximately 1,25,000 Indian rupees. In this video, I'll be telling you the new features what LG has introduced, such as like quantum display, SDR Super with Dolby Vision and Color Prime Plus. As well as I'll tell you about the web OS 3.0 like how does the interface look and what is the improvement from 2.0 to 3.0. So quickly I'll unbox this particular TV and I'll show you what all things it comes with. So stay tuned to my video. Unbox the TV, you can see that TV looks gorgeous. The bezels have beautiful silver lining and it's really looking cool. And if you can see this particular stand, the stand is also silver colored and this is looking really awesome on this TV. And in the box, you can see these are the components which was given by LG. So I'll be telling about each and every component, like what are these components, and then we can proceed with the demonstration of the TV. Alright, now you can see that we have these things which came out of the box. So the first thing I'll tell you is the clip, like it will help you to tie up your cables. Then this is the power adapter, then this is AV converter, then battery for the remote, and then again component converter, and then we have the magic remote. I'll tell you more about this magic remote in this video. This looks really nice to me. Then we have two 3D glasses, and then we have the user manual. Okay, so now let me show you the back of the TV. The back of the TV looks really good. It has a white color design and if I zoom the camera and I'll show you that it has some crisscross design. The material used at the back is really good. And the stand, you see that the stand is silver colored and it's very firm. It will keep your TV stable. If you push the TV also, it will not move from its original position. So that's really good. Now let me turn the camera to the other side and here you can see that we have multiple connectivity ports. On the top right we have USB 3.0 port, then we have 3 HDMI ports and then 2 USB 2.0 port. Here you can see that we have optical audio out port, 3.5 mm audio jack, LAN port and then component in and AV in ports as well as the antenna cable in port. Alright now let me start the TV for the first time and here you can see that web OS 3.0 operating system is getting loaded and this is a nice animation what web 3.0 os has during the boot up and now i'll be using the magic remote so first of all let me tell you what is magic remote why they call it as magic remote so magic remote works as a mouse but it does not need any surface yes you can easily mo move the mouse cursor across the tv just by hovering the remote control in air and that's so comfortable you can use it to like type in any text while browsing uh, YouTube or surfing internet or you just want to click on any of the menu items it's very handy and very fast now let me set the Wi-Fi for this TV as you know that it has a built-in Wi-Fi in this TV now the Wi-Fi is connected and we need to like accept few of the uh, legal notices and once the legal notice is accepted we can log into the TV for the first time now I'll skip the video because it will take some time to configure all my setup box my home theater PS3 once the setup is done, I'll come back. Alright friends, now I've done the complete installation of my TV and this TV looks gorgeous in the living room. Now you can see that silver bezels and silver stand looks really gorgeous on this TV. And uh, you can see I have connected by Tata Sky as well as the home theater and PS3, like PlayStation with this TV. Alright, the first thing will be like I'll be switching on this TV and I'll show you how this setup box works on this TV. Like how is the Tata Sky's performance on this TV? Now I'll use the magic remote to switch on the TV as well as setup box. Yes, I can use this remote to control multiple devices because this is a universal remote. And the interface is very easy like when you get into the TV you can uh, configure multiple devices with this remote because this is a universal remote. Uh, yeah, you need to be connected to internet before you can configure multiple devices to this remote. Now I'll switch on the setup box and I'll show you how is the display. Now you can see the display looks really gorgeous. 
I'm playing National Geography channel and it's in HD and you can see the color production the sharpness the brightness everything looks really good I have kept in the uh, standard uh, picture mode we have different picture modes such as uh, cinematic mode and sports mode and photo mode there are different modes so you can change the modes simply by using the magic remote and you can check which mode suits you best now let me show you the angular view of this TV if you can see that I'm standing at 150 degree now and this looks good at this angle even if I go beyond this like if I'm standing at 180 degree also you can see the picture quality is as it is there's no fading no graying out of the colors everything looks gorgeous so that means like TV's picture quality the viewing angle everything is really good also to add like this TV has SDR plus and whenever we have SDR content available and if we enable it this looks more gorgeous okay so now let me do one thing I'll change the channel from HD to SD like standard definition because I know in India like most of the channels are not HD they are standard definition SD so let me show you how is the performance of standard channel on this particular TV so let me select this news channel it does not have any HD content so let me click on NDTV and here you can see that the standard definition channel also looks good on this TV you can see the text are very clear there are very minor or small pixelation of uh, standard definition channel on this but if you are viewing this TV from 10 feet or 7 feet then you won't be seeing any pixelation in the picture quality so the standard definition picture also looks great on this TV alright now I'll show you some smart TV functionality here like once you click the home button on your magic remote you will get this option like there are multiple application which is pre-installed on this TV which works on internet as you know that I have connected this TV using the Wi-Fi and now I can play any of the application here let me open YouTube and I'll show you how's the YouTube performance on this TV so here you can see that YouTube loads quite fast on this TV and it loads all the videos which you have viewed in the past because I have already synced my account with this TV there is an option on the left hand side and you can sync your account so that whatever you have viewed on your mobile you can simply see the history and you can browse through them and you can play it again now here you can see the picture quality is really good this is a full HD uh, content and you can see the clarity the color production everything looks really great the sound is also good I cannot show you the sound here because of copyright issues but I can tell you like the sound is also good but bass in this TV is not that great now let me play some 4k video on this TV and you can see that I'm using magic remote to search 4k video and it's very easy and fast to use this magic remote to search any video now I have 4k videos here and let me play one of the 4k video and show you the true potential of this TV so 4k video is loading and the streaming is also very fast I'm using 16 mbps internet connection and on 16 mbps connection also you can see the video is streaming really fast and the quality is looking amazing also to add the reproduction of colors on this TV is really great you can see the colors are really vivid and uh, here you can see that small flickering on the TV but it's actually not on the TV it's coming on the video because the refresh rate on the camera and the refresh rate of the TV are not syncing up that is why you are seeing this flicker but in actual there is no flickering and everything looks really gorgeous each and every pixel glows like anything and you can see how good the 4k content looks on this TV also to add I'll tell you like this TV has SDR plus mode which means like whenever you have SDR content available either online or with your hard drive pen drive then you can enable SDR plus mode what it does is like it will make the brighter thing more brighter and darker more darker so the video will look amazing okay so this was the 4k video display on this TV and I have tried playing 4k video from my pen drive as well as hard drive and they all play really awesome on this TV now let me quickly move to Netflix and I'll show you how's the Netflix performance on this TV as you know that Netflix has recently launched in India and they have really good English content and they have few Hindi contents as well now you can see that interface is really smooth and there is no buffering when you are streaming any video from Netflix 
and here we have different categories in Netflix but I'll just want to add that like when you are watching high definition video on Netflix like it consumes approximately 3 GB per hour and if you are watching 4k content on Netflix it will consume 7 GB per hour and if you are watching standard definition then it will consume approximately 1 GB per hour so you need to be very conscious about like how much data you have like what is the data plan and how uh, much data Netflix is consuming but I'll say that Netflix has really good video quality like when you're watching in high definition it really gives a good feeling and the sound quality is also amazing on Netflix so if you're buying this TV I'll definitely recommend you to buy the subscription of Netflix the first month is free in India like you can try for one month and then if you like it you can continue otherwise you can disconnect from Netflix alright so let me quickly show you the LG content store so this is the place from where you can download all your applications and games just to remember you have only 650 MB available space on this TV so you can't install all the applications but it can be limited to like 10 15 applications on your TV but again you can delete and reinstall other applications as per your wish now let me show you what is this photo and video option so this will help you to like browse your portable hard drive or pen drive you just need to select that particular option and then you need to browse your hard drive and you need to find out where is the photo or video in your hard drive it will not open the music for music you need to go through the music application so here you can see that I have all the uh, movies downloaded and kept in my hard drive so let me try to play one of the uh, full HD video on this TV so here you can see that this uh, movie loads quite fast on this TV and there is no lag while playing so this is a full HD movie and there is no lag while playing and the colors the clarity the sound everything is really good on this TV now let me show you another feature of this TV or the feature of web 3.0 uh, operating system is like the device connector so this application will help you to easily connect to different devices like setup box home theater sound bars external storage PC so this will sync your universal remote control as well as it will sync like audio like whenever you're trying to play audio on any of the application it will automatically detect like which device is connected with this particular TV and it will sync and it will play the audio from that particular device now let me quickly show you the music application so whenever you connect your hard drive or pen drive you need to go to music application and you can easily browse and play any music on this TV and the sound quality is really good only the bass is not that much heavy but if you want good bass you can connect your TV to home theater and subwoofers now the best feature is like screen off feature like whenever you want to play music you can turn off the display only the music will play here you can see the display will be off and music is still playing in the background and if you press any of the button in the magic remote the display will turn on and you can see that music is still playing now this is really good feature of this TV and actually the feature of web OS 3.0 okay so I'll just tell you that there are many application on this web OS 3.0 and you can download additional application from LG content and they are very easy to use and the operating system is really fluidic all right the next thing what I'll be doing here is I'll be showing you how the PlayStation 3 works on this particular TV so I'll change the input mode from uh, HDMI uh, of my setup box to HDMI of my PlayStation 3 if I click on this input button here I have option like HDMI 1 I have connected HDMI 1 with my PlayStation 3. So now you can see how uh, swiftly it moves from your TV to PlayStation. So here is the PlayStation option. You can see like uh, this looks gorgeous on this television. The PlayStation display is really good. I have not tried PlayStation 4. PlayStation 4 would be looking more good on this TV. So let me try to play some of the game. Need for Speed Hot Pursuit. This is quite old game but I really like it. So let me play this game on this particular TV. How how is the performance, how is the speed of this TV when it decodes the PS3 signal? Let's see. Alright, now you can see that game is completely loaded and it's ready to play. 
the first impression what I see is like the game is looking really gorgeous on this display and it has no pixelation no lag the contrast is good the brightness is good the color reproduction is also really nice so if you have PlayStation 3 and if you're planning to buy any TV or LED so this TV will be the best TV at this price range if you are PlayStation 4 player then also I recommend you this TV because this TV has 4k capability and it can easily handle the graphics output of PlayStation 4 alright the last thing what I want to show you for this TV is the 3d capability so I have purchased this 3d DVD from Amazon and uh, it is basically from IMAX and it has beautiful 3d content I'll just play using my home theater my home theater has 3d blu-ray capability so it can play the 3d content I'll change the input from my PlayStation 3 to my home theater and I'll put my DVD inside this and let's see how is the 3d content looks on this TV okay so on the top right hand side you can see that 3d digital signal has been detected and now to see this particular 3d you need 3d glasses so here if I have to see I need to be at least at five to six feet distance and then you can easily see it so let me show you on the camera how does it look so from the glasses you can see it looks so clear and the 3d is really eye-popping and you can see here I'm not sure like you are able to see that kind of 3d effect on the camera but I can tell you like if you are directly looking into the 3d glasses and then to the TV it looks really gorgeous like 3d content will come near to you and it looks amazing just to add that we have many 3d movies available on internet as well as many games in PlayStation 3 and 4 which are in 3d so if you are interested in 3d movies or games this TV is perfect for you at this price range all right friends so this was my complete review for this TV and uh, if I missed anything please write in the comments below I'll definitely get back to you in the comments and if you have any other questions related to TV, like connectivity, any functionality of this TV, I'll definitely get back to you for your questions in the comments. Okay, so uh, just to add on, like our channel is reaching 10,000 subscribers this month or next month. And once it reaches 10,000 subscribers, I will be distributing lots of gifts and goodies. So please check out the details, like how can you earn or how can you get the gifts in the uh, video at the end of the video I have uh, put all the details you can also check out my Facebook page which is mentioned at the last of this video I hope you like my video and if you like do subscribe my channel and give a thumbs up as well as share this video have a nice day bye bye so please check out my Facebook page for more details just click the link which is being displayed on the screen now and don't forget to subscribe because only subscribers will be getting the gifts and goodies at 10,000 subscriptions